but uh, let's do some analysis on this now. Uh, Tony Dogbe is the co-chair of the Citizens Movement Against Corruption. He's joining us uh, via uh, live link. Uh, now, good evening, sir. Thank you. Now, do you back the cause for investigations, uh, full-scale investigations into this bribery uh, allegation, or you could call it scandal? Briefly, I, 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 I back the call for it. I think I made uh, that call uh, about two weeks ago when uh, Martin Amidou uh, issued his paper about corruption in parliament. And uh, I think it's not something just for the parliamentarians. Uh, it's, parliament belongs to the people. We have elected them, the parliamentarians, our honorables, to represent us. And if Martin Amidou came up uh, in a strong word, a strongly worded paper that there is corruption in parliament and instances that he himself had experienced. And one of that, uh, those instances had to do with appointments and uh, of vetting, uh, for vetting the presidential, the president's nominees for appointment. And we're hearing the same. Hello, Mr. Dogbe. Right, I think we. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Hello. Yeah, we were losing you. Uh, yeah, slightly. I can hear you. Sorry, good, good, good. Me. I can hear you now, very clearly. Now, I, I want to ask you what form you think that such an investigation should should take. Would you recommend an independent uh, committee, or you would say Parliament has the capacity to do an internal inquiry into this? I think uh, uh, we should go with the separations of powers. And I think uh, Parliament should do its own investigation, uh, uh, investigations into the allegations that uh, came up with analysis video. So I would first give Parliament the opportunity to do it. But then I still would think that this should be an open investigation that the public can also come and testify on instances where the public have felt um, uh, that people feel they, ha they had to give money to the members of parliament or a member of parliament mm. to either meet them. And I know civil society have had a lot of that, where sometimes just to meet members of parliament or committees, that you get the impression that uh, uh, you, you're being asked to pay money before you can, you can uh, exercise this democrat uh, democratic right. right. And uh, I think also Martin Amidou raised other issues to do with even passing through, passing bills. It's like you have to uh, give money before bills will be passed. And I've had a personal experience of a, a, a friend who said that was his experience. He was a chairman of a committee. Unfortunately, he's dead, so I don't want to mention his name. Uh, and he told me he was really shocked that to pass his money to uh, members of parliament for that to be done. And I think Martin Amidou raised it. So it goes beyond the current allegations that are being made. Mm -hmm. And it keeps coming. I've been babbling, uh, tagged on it, uh, PCO for it, tagged on it. And I think it's high time that, you know, we, we, we have a proper investigation done. And I think parliament should do it. Right. Uh, Mr. Tony, right. Dope, we're grateful. Public, the public to attend. Right. Uh, Mr. Dogbe, we're grateful for your time. Thanks very much uh, for uh, your contributions. Meanwhile, the African Center for Parliamentary Affairs is also demanding a full-scale, independent investigations into this bribery allegations. Let's listen to Dr. Rashid Dramani, who is the executive director. It's not only a dent. I think it's a complete damage to the integrity of, of parliament. Especially, you know, given the way the story is unfolding. I think every minute, every day, we are hearing different sides of it. And all pointing to the fact that more and more, the image of parliament is sinking deeper and deeper. Um, you have, for the first time, we are hearing members of parliament petitioning the speaker and saying, we are prepared to submit ourselves to an investigation. You know, in the past, we've heard these rumors. Most of them, most of them are from outside 
the only one that we had, I mean, uh, that came very close was PCRPO for saying people took money and so on. Um, but this is one moment when three members of parliament have signed a petition and they are saying we are prepared to subject ourselves to an investigation. And I think that uh, parliament has a lot of work to do to clean what is now becoming some serious debt that is sticking on its image. I think the minister has been sworn in already, unfortunately. Uh, maybe, perhaps, uh, whilst the story was developing, perhaps the president should have waited until all these things are cleared. Um, it's, it's now, as it stands, I mean, these are allegations. We don't have the proof yet. And I don't think the work of government should stop. The work of parliament should not stop either. But once we get to the bottom of it, if it is uh, the members of parliament who are lying, I think maybe for the first time, let's see some action on the part of uh, our, our, um, our legislature. If it is the minister who has been implicated, I believe, Ghanaians know that uh, the president would act because of his uh, stand on corruption, because of his integrity and so on. You, you, you are demanding a full-scale investigation into Yes, that. indeed. Um, uh, I think that an investigation full-scale is in order, but not one conducted by parliament itself.